Well, the Shelby's finally back. I know it's been a long time, but I've been dealing with problems. So let's go over the problems first. Between waiting on parts and the wrong parts and parts that should exist, but they don't exist. For instance, the uh, rear brake line, which is why the brakes had failed. Um, and when I finally got it all together, I test drove it, you know, drove it around, made sure it was good. And of course, in the true Shelby fashion, it was not in fact good. So, um, the main thing being that the clutch linkage fell apart and the fuel pump went bad, which is like, I think the fifth fuel pump that it's had in it now. So it really just needs a, you know, better fuel system in general, like a aftermarket tank with an intake pump and uh, new A in lines ran and all that good stuff. But as far as what has been done to the truck since the last time you saw it, it now has the rear tires, but we'll get back there. Let's start up front. It now has all of the turn signals and marker lights completely blacked out. And it's got brand new LED headlights, which are amazing at night. Um, the old glass ones were surprisingly not that good. It has a correct Shelby air dam, which uh, had been repaired before. And I went ahead and, went ahead and uh, had to fix more of it myself with some JB Weld and zip ties and stuff but she's solid and uh, the fog lights were a little out of adjustment so kind of fixed those better so now it looks a lot better sits lower uh, because of the chin spoiler it's bigger uh, just looks more aggressive in general um, the exhaust was buzzing really bad and uh, the cheap tips had cracked so stitch those back together they're really thin so, you know, maybe those will last, maybe they won't. Um, here's the tires. They're 305s, and they tuck in this thing really nice. Could actually go to like a 315 realistically, but, I mean, that's probably good enough. The spooler I got off of uh, some place, uh, some website. Uh, I looked it up by finding a Nissan hardbody spooler. And this guy custom makes them and they actually rivet in and the tailgate still opens and everything so you can still use it and you know sit down whatever you need to do and I think it looks really good it's, it's different you know for sure of course you saw we got the uh, bumper removed and the license plate uh, put in place tinted the tail lights taped up where the uh, reverse lights go gives it a little more uh, of an aggressive look um, things on the to-do list for sure uh, I need to get the wider tires for the front um, but I want to get some use out of those because they're still brand new um, I want to build some type of hard tunnel cover that insets inside of the bed um, so I'm looking into either a like an eighth inch steel which is heavy but it's cheaper or go ahead and spend the money 
and get an aluminum type of cover that can be removed in like three pieces. Um, be lighter, more expensive, but it'll look correct, match the spoiler. So there's that. Um, thinking about uh, doing something with the patina to keep it sealed from the elements because the truck is not living in the shop anymore. So that's kind of up in the air on what to do. A um, couple different ideas. Uh, I need to mess with the shifter a little more. It's still a little iffy. You know, it works and transmission grinds and stuff. So it really needs the trans rebuilt, but you know, that's what you get for a $150 junkyard transmission. Um, a really good tip I have for you on the brakes. Um, this rear soft line up here does not exist anywhere for a Dodge Dakota. Don't know why. It's just, I couldn't find one. So as it turns out, that's the exact same line as like a 97 Dodge Ram 1500, like the one that's back there. Yeez. Um, so that's, that's a fun fact, um, but it worked perfectly. It's got brakes again. Um, I went ahead and fixed the power steering pump as well. Don't look over there. We're saving that surprise for a little bit. But yeah, I uh, put a used junkyard power steering pump on it because the other one failed because of the line. Uh, I guess blew up Cletus and car as well. It, it, I didn't notice the leak until afterwards, but I'm sure it was something to do because of that. Um, so anyways, junkyard power steering pump, got a new belt on it. Um, another fun fact, this pressure line right here doesn't exist anywhere for the uh, Shelby Dakota. It is specific to the Shelby um, because the power steering rack is different and the pump I believe is the same, but it's just, it couldn't find one with the right fittings and no one in my town can make me one. So as it turns out, a S10 Blazer power steering line is exactly the same fittings on both sides. I did have to bend it and tweak it and, and route it, but I do actually like how it's routed much better. The other one kind of went down and then went in front and went back that way. It's a bad design to say the least. So this one actually comes up, down, goes back around and then drops right into the uh, power steering rack. So I like that much better. Um, as you have seen probably in Cletus and Cars, the uh, air filter element caught on fire and uh, it was rubbing the hood as well just slightly but it's been like that for a long time even with the old 318 LA so what I went ahead and did is got a drop base a new air filter and a new lid you know so it looks better so she's breathing happy um, other than that still haven't cleaned the poor thing I mean you just see how disgusting the engine bay is this thing was mint when I put it together and it's sad to see it so dirty but you know I use and abuse the whole thing so it's just the way she goes that battery actually came back around with a charge eventually which is fantastic so now I'll go ahead and show you the last future plan that I have because I do drive this truck a lot and yes it does sound really good but it is very raspy it's just got two, it's like six inch um, Black Widow uh, straight through design mufflers on it. I don't even know if you can see them, maybe. Yeah, right there. And uh, you know, I got a good deal on those and I needed something the old Flowmasters were rotted. So I'll show you what I have. Never seen these before up until uh, about a month ago. These are Spintech. Uh, 9000s. They're designed like a Flowmaster, but they have like a cylinder on the inlet, and there's some technology in there. I don't really believe that they're like any better performing. They're probably worse than a straight through muffler like what's on the truck, but I do like that they sound kind of like a Flowmaster. They have that really kind of hollow sound, but they are more aggressive. So I would say that it's like in between a Flowmaster 40 and a Flowmaster Super 10 
and a Black Widow. It's like if you mix all three of those together, that's basically what that sounds like. And also to help with the raspiness, I'm putting an X-pipe in the truck for once, because right now it just has uh, true duels on it. So hopefully, between the mufflers and the X-pipe, it'll still sound really good, really aggressive, have a, a better tone, but won't be as loud and as raspy. So hopefully that will make it to where, you know, I can keep that passenger window down and the slider open and not continue to lose hearing in my right ear because, you know, that's what's been happening. One sad thing I've noticed, which I don't think I pointed out on the last video, got a flat level surface here. And you can't you can't really see it because of the spoiler now. But if you look really close, see that? The truck sits like this. And I had it on a lift, and as it turns out, from the wreck that I was in, it actually has a little tweak in the frame right about here. And it tweaked because this is the wheel that got uh, broke off and destroyed the brakes and the axle and everything. Um, and it actually had damaged the bedside slightly right there. Um, and the axle, tube, the axle tube is actually slightly bent backwards, just, just a tickle. Not bad enough to where I'm going to replace it because I already had the uh, cover done and the uh, new posi in it and stuff. I'm not going to mess with it. That doesn't concern me. It's barely anything. But the frame is tweaked slightly down on this corner. Will I ever mess with it? Probably not. But if I run across someone that has a frame machine and get me a good deal on doing it, I probably will go ahead and do that just because it would be nice, you know, to not have a crooked truck. Um, but the truck's been in the wreck before, somewhere in this corner, because um, this was not the original bumper. Uh, wasn't the original it actually had no air dam or fog lights when I got it and uh, this lens was not original either so it had been hit in this corner before not a huge deal it's just the way it goes it has almost 300,000 miles so what do you expect but the next video we'll do an exhaust comparison between the Black Widow bullets that's, that are on the truck and the Spintex